Hi, my name is Ryan Stewart, and I am a developer evangelist for Adobe. And today, I wanted to take you through the steps that you'll need to get started building playbook applications built with Adobe Air. Now, BlackBerry has released a couple of things. One is an SDK for Adobe Air, so you can start building Flex and Flash applications using Flash Builder 4.5 and, and targeting the playbook. And the other piece of that is a simulator that runs the current BlackBerry Playbook OS so that you can actually do on-device debugging using the simulator right from Flash Builder 4.5. And there are a couple of great tutorials on the BlackBerry site that will walk you through installing the SDK and setting up the simulator yourself, but I thought a screencast might be more helpful for those of you that are more visually inclined. Now the first thing you'll have to do is go to the BlackBerry Developer Zone, which is just us.blackberry.com slash developers, and sign up for an account, which will then get you access to both the SDK and the simulator. Now the simulator is what you'll use to test your applications and it comes in the form of an ISO file that is actually a VMware image that you'll have to set up using VMware Player or on the Mac VMware Fusion. So I've got a VMware Fusion instance here and I've already downloaded and unpacked the ISO file that is the simulator. And so to create a new BlackBerry image or new BlackBerry testing virtual machine, what you do is go to New and uh, continue without disk and then you can select the operating system installation disk file which in this case is called blackberry playbook simulator.iso and it's in my user directory so choose that then continue and for this you want to make sure that the other operating system and other version are selected by default I think Microsoft Windows is selected and so you have to make sure that both of the other versions are selected for the operating system and version number and then you can click continue and you'll want to make sure that your settings are customized for some of the individual BlackBerry specifications or the tablet specifications. So we'll click Customize Settings and we'll do, uh, first of all, it'll make us save us. So we'll save it. So we'll call it My First BlackBerry Playbook and in our Virtual Machines directory. And then we can go in here to the Playbook settings. And if we go to Processors, we want to bump the RAM up to 1024, which is what the, the Playbook has. And then we'll go to Show All. Because the other thing that we want to do is make sure that 3D is enabled on this so that we can get sort of the same performance we would get on the actual device. So once those things are enabled, we are ready to run our simulator. So we'll go ahead and click in Startup, and it'll start up this, the BlackBerry Playbook Simulator. Click Run. You see we get our nice uh, BlackBerry Playbook form factor there. And it's going to go through and it's going to just sort of start to set up the image here. And eventually you will get a question uh, about whether you want to overwrite the file system. So in this case, you're just going to push Y. Uh, it's not going to damage your, your hard drive or anything. So it's going to go through and initialize those files for this particular playbook simulator. Now, while that's running, because it's going to go and do a bunch of things in the background, let's go ahead and go to Flash Builder 4.5. Now, if you're using the Flash Builder 4.5 um, download from Max, then you will be able to take the Air SDK from RIM and install that directly into Flash Builder Burrito. When you do that and you go to create a new mobile application, you will see a new device profile there that you can target, which is, of course, the RIM playbook. So we're going to delete this, so we'll call it Test. If we go to Mobile Settings, you can see that we've now got the BlackBerry Tablet OS in addition to the Google Android device. And so I'll go ahead and skip this because I've already set up a basic application here that's going to use the BlackBerry Tablet APIs. And so this is going to be a Flex Mobile application. So you can see I've got my Flex Mobile application tag there. I've got my detail view. I've got my first playbook application view. And all that's going to happen here is I'm going to have a button that I can click that will take me from a, a one page, this initial page, to a quote unquote detail page that just has a label of text on it. So not a very complex application. But one of the nice things is that once the simulator is set up, we can use that simulator to do essentially on device debugging and make sure that our breakpoints are working and make sure the application is running kind of the same way that we'd be able to debug right now on devices using Android. So let's go make sure that my let's go check my simulator out. So it looks like we are starting screen. There we go. Perfect timing. So the BlackBerry playbook is going to be loading up here. Now one of the keys to being able to debug on the device is you've got to set up a couple of things here 
inside of the playbook screen to make this work and make sure that deb device debugging is enabled. So go ahead and click on this. Once you've got this set up, click on this little gearbox, and that's going to bring up a window where you can enable uh, development mode if you click on the security tab. And so go ahead and enable development mode, and you'll have to give it a password. So we'll do, uh, I won't give you my password, but click. you can type it in, click OK, and then you have the password set for that particular device. Now you also need to make sure that you have the IP address. So with this VMware image, it's going to have its own IP address that Flash Builder is going to use to go connect so that when we set a breakpoint and want to get debugging information, we can make that IP address connection here on our simulator. So to do that, just click on this little hammer and that'll give you the information that development mode is on and it'll give you the IP address for the simulator. So we'll remember 192.168.137.129. So now when I go to debug this application, go back to Flash Builder Burrito. So now we can set up the debug configuration and actually debug this on the device. So the first thing that I'll do is go ahead and get out of the, this screen. So we just want to remember the IP address, 192.168.37.129. And then I will go to Flash Builder and we can click on the little debug icon up here. And when we select our project, there we go, we can debug as a mobile application and you'll see that we're already set up to target the BlackBerry Tablet OS. And in this case, we can do on-device debugging through that simulator. So we just have to type in the IP address, which was 192.168.37.129, is what it was. And then our own IP address, in my case, the 1.72 address. And then this is going to be the password that we typed in when we abled device debugging. So there's mine. Then we can just click debug, and you can see down here it's going to package that as a tablet for the playbook. It's going to install that on the device, and then it's going to connect to the device uh, so we can run breakpoints or do debugging directly on the simulator. So there, go back to the simulator, there we're loading our application. So it takes a little second to load, and then there we have our, our basic application, so we click move to detail. Uh, or click inside the window, move to detail, then it'll go to our detail view and click hello. So at this point, now we are remotely connected to the Swift file. So if we go back to Flash Builder, you can see there we've got the Swift file, the Swift file that we're connected to. So we could set breakpoints, we can do trace statements, we can do all the things that we would expect to, to be able to do using the debugging and profiling tools of Flash Builder 4 and get as close as possible to the devices right now uh, using that simulator and using VMware Fusion. So thank you very much. I encourage you to go check out and download the Air SDK for BlackBerry Tablet OS and uh, check out Flash Builder 4.5 and then definitely let us know what you're building and kind of what you think of the tablet so far. We're looking for as many cool applications as possible. So feel free to drop me an email, ryan at adobe.com or just blog about your experiences. We'd love to hear what you're, think what you're doing and what you're thinking.